At some point in our life, there will be time to go through an identity transition, where the world may seem to turn upside down, and the old identity is no longer working. It could be changed due to the unexpected death of a loved one. Perhaps it could be divorce, catastrophe, or it may be an event that shatters everything you know to be false, such as betrayal or breakup. Change is inevitable in life, and it is through having full faith in ourselves will we be able to handle life with grace and gratitude. In this video, you will learn how to recreate yourself after experiencing an identity crisis. Although many life events and people are out of our control, we always have the power to control ourselves and how we respond. Going through an identity crisis could be devastating, scary, and even depressive. However, it's important to trust yourself and have full faith that everything happens for you to grow, evolve, adapt, and become a better version of yourself. Let's go over some tips. To help you handle identity crises and be able to reinvent yourself, first is to know that you are not alone. If you're currently going through an identity crisis, first is to know that you are not alone and you don't have to go through it alone. It is common to experience the anxiety of being lost, not knowing who you are or what to do. Feeling depressed for that everything you've known is changed, and also feeling sadness, grief, or even anger for the things or people you've lost. You are not alone in this process, as many people have experienced traumatic life change at some point in their life, regardless of gender, ethnicity, race, or age. Perhaps this is the time where you can find support groups. And organizations to connect with people who have been through similar experiences to receive and give support. There are many different types of support groups online with very specific topics such as alcoholism, addictions, loss of loved ones, and so much more. With a supportive connection, you will feel validated, gain insights. And learn important life skills on seeking help, healing, and take self-responsibility to move forward through life challenges. Second, focus on your healing. Life events will happen. What matters the most is that you are able to learn to self-soothe during difficult times for growth and to build resilience. Part of the growth process. Is to learn to turn your experiences into lessons to be learned, and focus on your own development from life events. It's about learning to align with your own source, learn to master your own emotions, and release expectations from people and things that are exterior of you, for that the only thing you can control is yourself. At times of identity crisis. It's important to learn to embrace your negative emotions, such as fear, sadness, grief, depression, anger, and even rage, like a little child that needs lots of love and compassion. Instead of shaming, blaming, and criticizing ourselves for what has already happened, acknowledge ourselves for our pain, and seek therapy to heal ourselves. Though the pain from identity crisis is inevitable, suffering is optional when you learn to shift your mindset. Any progress away from the victim mentality is a win, because you deserve to be the hero and a thriver in your own life story. Third, redefine your core values. Core values are principles or beliefs. That you hold most dear, and that are of central importance in your life. By knowing what you want, you live your life according to these principles, and will choose things, 
people, and events that revolve around these set of core values. When an identity crisis happens, there may be conflicting core values to which you need to let go. So take this important time period of your life to learn about yourself, your limiting beliefs, your attachment to people and things, redefine your core values, and how you want to live your life from now on. When you take time to heal yourself and to choose to grow and evolve, you gain wisdom and knowledge, and this allows you to choose a new identity and a new lifestyle that is aligned with your new set of core values. To learn about core values, you can read this book, Discovering Your Authentic Core Values, a step-by-step -step guide by Mark Allen Shilosky to help you live a fulfilled life that is authentic and with peace. Fourth, take self-responsibility. People are often confused about taking responsibilities. This often comes from never learning properly, having blurred boundaries in the past, and lack of strong self-identity. Many people fear to take control of their life so they neglect their own responsibilities and seek control from people and things outside of them. Some keep controlling and manipulate others to feel powerful in a sense of self-worth, such as a narcissist. Some save and take responsibilities for other people to avoid facing their own fear, such as codependent. Often, this type of deferring, neglecting, or rejecting responsibilities stems from lack of healthy support and development from childhood. It may be helpful to find mentors, life coaches, therapists, and counselors to help you during the identity crisis because these people often have the knowledge, experiences, and tools and resources to help make your life transition better. You can search for a life coach from platforms such as Thumbtack, Clarity, and BetterHelp to seek professionals who can help you along your journey. Fifth, start acting as if. As you redefine your core values, you are better at seeing circumstances objectively so you can make decisions and take action around the principles according to who you want to be, how you want to live, and who you want to surround yourself with. The future is formed as you learn to envision what you want and start acting as if it has already happened. Everything that has happened to us in the past are all signs pointing back to us as an indication of what we truly desire and that everything is happening for our greater good. During the time of identity crisis, this is where you can think ahead on what kind of person you need to be to live the dream life that you want. The more you practice visualization and acting as if it's already done, the more likely you will manifest your dream life into reality. From this, you will be more likely to shift away from the victim mentality to focus your attention and energy on the goods the universe has placed in front of you. With that, here's a quote on self-worth. When I discover who I am, I'll be free. Quote by Ralph Ellison from The Invisible Man. By creating your ideal image with all the mentioned tips from this video, you know how to be authentic and live with integrity. And when you learn to listen to your own inner guidance, no one can take your true wealth away from you. So embrace yourself, raise your standards, and seek people and things that support your growth and success. Now let's hear from you. What is your ideal image for success? Leave a comment below. Believe in yourself and remember to spark your inner magic from within. Thanks for watching. If you like our content, please consider subscribing and share it with loved ones who may benefit from it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.